Welcome back to the channel. My name is Emery. Just want to help you get better at backpacking. And today it's a pretty big one. We're going to talk about how to drop your pack weight for free by not spending any money at all. And the reason is, is because backpacking is better when your pack is lighter. That's just how it is. If you had the choice between carrying a 60 pound backpack or a 25 pound backpack or 30 pounds, I think we all know the answer. The 30 pound backpack feels a heck of a lot better while you're going down the trail. It makes your life easier and actually makes backpacking a lot more fun. But as you all know, and I'm sure everyone is aware, dropping your pack weight can, can be really expensive because a lot of people equate dropping your pack weight with buying ultralight gear, which tends to be expensive and takes a lot of time. Unless you have money just coming out your ears and you're willing to just drop all that cash on lightweight stuff, we got to figure out a different way. And that is what we're going to cover in this video. So I'm going to talk about three different ways you can drop your pack weight for free. And the first one being learn the difference between what you need and what you want. Those are two separate categories and they vary from person to person. Needs and wants have a massive impact on your overall backpack weight. And a good way to find out what these needs and wants are is to do a bit of an exercise. Before you go on your next backpacking trip, pack all of your stuff up, find a spouse or a friend, someone who's going to be really, really hard on you. And they're going to do a bit of a pack shakedown. You're going to put all your stuff in your pack like you normally would. And they're going to come into the room and they're going to sit on the other side of you. And they're going to say, okay, here we go. And they're going to pull each item out of the backpack. And you have to say that's a need or that's a want. And the goal is to create two separate piles. Now it's better to have someone doing this for you. That's really, really hard on you and might be willing to bust your chops a little bit because the harder they bust your chops, the lighter your packs going to be. So the name of the game is pull an item out need or want. If you hesitate, that person has to put it in the want category needs should be pretty obvious. A tent, a sleeping bag, a backpack, uh, water, that kind of a thing. By the end of the exercise, when every little piece has been gone through, and we're talking like pulling, if you have a lot of stuff in your little medical kit, we're pulling everything out. By the end of the exercise, you should have two good piles going. If you're new to backpacking, you're going to have a lot of things in that want. If you've been backpacking for a while, which I still suggest doing, uh, your pile might be a little smaller, but the point is you should have two pretty good piles. Weigh the wants pile and find out how much that weighs. I bet you more often than not, you're going to be at least three to four pounds in that pile, especially if uh, you're just starting out. Hopefully not. But even if you're saving a pound of gear in the wants, at least you know what that is. Now, I'm not saying to, to delete all that stuff from your backpack. I'm not saying that at all. You can most definitely put that back in. But at least now you know what the difference is between need versus want and how much that weighs. And that's what's really important. You can always put the stuff back in, but at least now you know what you can take out of your backpack to lighten it up. The second tip for dropping your pack weight is to plan each backpacking trip individually for that backpacking trip. A lot of times what people do is they tend to pack their backpack one way with all the gear that they normally bring for every single trip. And that sounds really like a great idea. Like I, this is what I take on my backpacking trip, but it, it, it just doesn't work that way. Unless you're doing the same exact trip over and over and over and over again, and you have that pack list dialed in, every trip's going to be different. Take each trip on its own and find out exactly what you need. If it's going to be warmer, if it's going to be colder, if it, there's going to be water, if there's not going to be water, every trip is going to be different. So pack accordingly. And what I think you'll find is if you start packing for your backpacking trips specifically for that one, you're going to find you're going to pull stuff out. So for example, I really like to bring camp shoes with me. It's just how I am. I like to put my foot or feet in um, comfortable shoes at the end of the day. However, if I'm not spending a lot of miles on my feet, if I'm just going for a quick overnight backpacking trip. If I'm not going to be crossing water, I'm probably not going to bring my camp shoes and camp shoes weigh, I don't know, a pound. Bing. Still, that's a pound. And there's probably other stuff in your pack that you can not bring on certain trips. That's just one example of 
what I wouldn't bring on maybe an overnight backpacking trip. And not only that, but you're saving space inside your pack, which is also a really big deal. So yeah, plan each trip specifically for that trip and you're gonna save some weight and you won't have to pay any money for it. The third and final tip for dropping your pack weight for absolutely no money at all, no time invested, nothing or money invested, is to really plan out your water carries better. Now this is not gonna be uh, a tried and true, it's not gonna happen the perfect way on every single trip. However, what a lot of people tend to do is they just tend to fill up all of their water to the max at all times. The worst violators of this are water bladder users because they just tend to fill it all the way up. And a lot of people use three liter bladders. What if you don't need three liters? And if you're not sure how much a liter of water weighs, it's about 2.2 pounds. So a three liter bag of water is six pounds. If you have water sources along the way, maybe you don't need to carry three liters of water with you at all times. I tend to carry two liters with me, but if I'm only gonna be going like five miles and I don't need, or like a handful of miles and there's gonna be a water source between me and my campsite, I'm probably just gonna drop down to one liter because one liter can get me, for me, about five miles of hiking, especially if I know that there's gonna be a water source on the other end of it. So all I'm saying is this is a very uh, touchy subject because water is very important. You always want to have water on you. However, if you plan your trip accordingly, you can drop a lot of weight. So in my case, if I went from a three liter water bladder to a one liter bottle, I just dropped four pounds of my backpack. Didn't spend any money, didn't have to do anything. All I did was spend a little bit of time up front, planning out my route, assessing the situation and planning accordingly. And that kind of goes back into that whole take each trip individually and plan that one. So there you go. Three tips to drop your pack weight without having to spend a single dime. And I really hope that was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments below. If you have any tips, this is a community here. If you have any tips on how to drop your pack weight without spending money, put it in the comments below so other people can learn. This is what we're doing here. We're building a community, sharing knowledge and helping each other out. And I would love to know what your tips are because I'm still trying to learn myself and I always love adapting other people's uh, knowledge to what I'm doing. If you haven't checked out the website, the podcast, the backpacking course, please do. I've left some links in the description of the video. So be sure to check those out when you have a chance. And if you haven't introduced yourself, either leave a comment or shoot me an email at emery at byland.co. Love to get to know you. Always like to respond to people. So please do that. And if you're headed out, on an adventure anytime soon. Be safe, make great decisions. We'll see you next time.